The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister keeps referring us back to the whitewashed report of the Senate. Senator Carolyn Stewart Olson is his former press secretary. Did he or did he not ever have any conversations with his former press secretary, Carolyn Stewart Olson, concerning this affair in the Senate? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. As a matter of fact, Mr. Speaker, no, I did not. But it is very clear the Senate, the Senate committee itself has answered those questions. It is the author of its own report. That report mirrors the recommendations of an independent audit conducted on behalf of the Senate. And the government, as a matter of fact, agrees with the recommendations in those reports, which are that the expenses in question are inappropriate and amounts such as that must be repaid to the taxpayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Did the Prime Minister ever discuss this matter in Cabinet? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the uh, Senate Committee has been very clear. It made its own report on these matters. The government's position is also extremely well known. Inappropriate expenditures, when people claim expenditures that they never actually incurred, these are inappropriate and must be repaid to the taxpayers. The Prime Minister keeps trying to convince Canadians that he's being straightforward. That was a very straightforward and simple question. Did he ever discuss this matter in Cabinet? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the, the Senate Committee Report is a Senate Committee Report. It is not a matter of government or Cabinet business. That is plainly obvious. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Quand est-ce que le Premier ministre a été mis au courant qu'Entente, on vise maintenant l'entente, pas le paiement. Quand est-ce qu'il a été mis au courant qu'une entente avait été conclue avec le sénateur conservateur Mike Duff? Mike Duff. What is the date? Mr. Speaker, the Wednesday, May 15th, was the day that Mr. Wright informed me that he gave a personal check to Mr. Duffy so that he could just pay taxpayers back. Up until that point, I was under the understanding that Mr. Duffy had repaid his own expenses. Who in the Prime Minister's office spoke with Mr. Duffy about withholding information from auditors or others investigating this matter? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I have uh, no information to that effect. Uh, obviously, as I've said repeatedly, the arrangements between Mr. Duffy and Mr. Wright are a matter of inquiry of both uh, commissioners of eth ethics commissioners of both houses of this parliament, and obviously we will provide any support necessary in those examinations. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mike Duffy wrote in an email that after being paid $90,000, he, quote, stayed silent on the orders of the Prime Minister's office. Whoa. Who told Mike Duffy to remain silent? Whoa. Excellent. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, these are not uh, matters that I am privy to. This is an email. This is an email from Mike Duffy, who is no longer a member of our caucus and certainly never conveyed that information to me. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Once Mike Duffy received the $90,000 from the Prime Minister's office, he stopped cooperating with Deloitte, who were the auditors in the file. Was that part of the deal with Mike Duffy? Again, Mr. Speaker, I think it's important to note the uh, falsehood in that particular question. Mr. Duffy has received no money from the Prime Minister's office or from the taxpayers of Canada. Mr. Wright has been very clear that Mr. Wright gave this money to Mr. Duffy out of his own personal resources, and to my knowledge, there is no legal agreement between the two of them. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, Mr. Speaker, when the Chief of Staff of the Prime Minister, in the course of his functions, from the Prime Minister's office, gives $90,000 to shut up a sitting senator, that's out of the Prime Minister's office. <laughs> no.
no legal document? A check is a document. Do they have a copy of the check? Has the Prime Minister or anyone in his office seen that check? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Once again, Mr. Speaker, contrary to what the leader of the NDP just said, there is no check from the Prime Minister's office. There is no use of Prime Minister's office funds in this affair. This was an action Mr. Wright took using his own resources on which he is now subject to examination and accountability by the Ethics Commission. Sure. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. If he's never seen the check, how can the Prime Minister rise in this House and tell us that it's a personal check? How does he know that it's not from a trust account? How does he know that if he's never seen the check? Order, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker uh, this is a matter of public record, as Mr. Wright himself has said, I can certainly assure the member there is no such money that has gone out of our office or out of PMO budget.